Welcome back to DIY RV and Home with Greg. On hand today for our project, we're going to be installing a uh, Hollowview M7108 wireless rear view monitor backup camera system on our travel trailer. going to go through show you what came in the box when we got it and then we're going to go out and get this thing installed try her out see how she works so you're going to come with your camera antenna and you have a adapter cable so you can tap into 12 volt power supply you got some mount bolts and an allen wrench so you can adjust your camera up front inside the cab you're going to have your monitor antenna with a sunscreen along with two styles of mounting brackets, your choice. Uh, one that you can screw in somewhere in the mount along with the screws to attach the monitor. The other one is uh, has 3M on it, so you can uh, attach it to your dash or something like that, then it attaches to the back of the unit. You also get two power supplies. One you can put into the cigarette lighter, or one you can actually go and hardwire it into your vehicle. And it also has provisions where you can actually uh, push a button and switch cameras. So this does have multi-camera option up to four cameras. Uh, you'll get the manual and you'll get a camera specifications. What we're going to do is we're going to go out there, uh, get this thing installed, and I'll show you how it works. Now, I didn't like the, the Furion backup camera mount system that came with the trailer so if you haven't seen it yet I actually made a video where I made a bracket to fit there instead of buying one of the other brackets that are available on the market uh, link right up on top to that video I'm gonna clear this off get everything re ready we're gonna start getting the camera mounted to that bracket then we're gonna go out and get this system installed be right back so when we bought this travel trailer it was uh, pre-wired and had the mount bracket for a Furion system already on the trailer uh, so we decided to go with a different brand of course so we had to make a bracket or purchase one I decided to make my own bracket so this is what I ended up coming up with on the bracket and that'll fit right there in that trim piece I've already got the holes so I can mount the camera to it and then these outer holes actually will mount back to the travel trailer so all the holes uh, the original holes will be reused I'll put some silicone back around it and that way we got it sealed up so here it is getting her installed on there So I'm going to get this grommet set in place. And I'm not using the screws and nuts that came with it. I picked up some pan heads. And I'm going to be putting them in reversed. I'm going to be using a washer, lock washer, 
And then I'm going to be putting a little bit of Loctite on there. Also as extra security. Keep this from falling off. All right, there's that part right there. So now we'll uh, head out to the trailer and uh, get it hooked up to the trailer. All right, I'm back. I'm getting ready to uh, wire up the camera. And uh, as I was, I was just gonna solder on um, the wire onto here and then shrink to it and everything like that. But as I was manipulating the wires around and moving, I found that uh, this one right here, it's got some bare wires hanging out. Uh, kind of shows the quality. So what I'm gonna end up doing is going ahead and cutting and uh, using a, a crimp to put it on. Now, mine are marked white green white white so I know orientation of the wires. So what I'll do here is I'll put the power cable, this one, on. So what I'm going to do is go in. Well, this one should be the power because that was on the red one. So I'm going to make the stupid assumption that that's correct. All right, the way it was wired up, uh, white green was to the red. So that's how I'm gonna wire this one in. And then I'm just actually gonna shove this wire back into the hole.
right, so what I'm going to do is I already got the one side connected. I've got this wire wrapped around. I'm actually going to just put just a little bit of solder on it just to keep it uh, in place when I put it on the connector. That was just a little uh, liquid uh, flux. Yeah, wind's not helping me out today. tape around it just for the extra safety Get this next one done, and then I'll bring you back. All right, so we've got it uh, hooked up, taped up, everything like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and just shove this into the hole. Yes, I could have. shortened it up but also if I decide that I want to take this to another trailer or something like that I can always pull this back out and hook the old system back up so let me grab the camera we'll get it up here all right here's the camera plug it in this has got a nice little twist lock on it so it's locked feed that in Definitely one thing I want to make sure that it's out of the way. So before I install that, let's make sure our wires are not going to be coming in contact with those screws when they're put in, or the screws are not going to make contact with those.
Okay. All right, there it is. Got the camera on. Now I just need to put some silicone on it. And then we'll uh, go up front and... All right. Here we are in the truck and... Just put the bracket with the 3M sticky on it, on the console. I think I'm gonna put it right here. And uh, so it won't really obstruct any of my view as I'm driving down the road. And I can do that. And for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap into my uh, power outlet. So there's that. And that a BMW adapter, uh, you plug that in. And then right here, shows no signal so we just have to go pair it up see how it does all right I'm gonna read the instructions on pairing up and then I'll be right back with you all right so here it is uh, got the monitor up here on the front uh, paired it up paired the camera already up but I'm gonna show you how I did it go ahead and turn it on and you select the camera that you want to pair to up in the corner say cam one two three four you can actually see that one's paired up right now but we'll go to camera two press the menu scroll over to the pairing press ok you have 20 seconds to do it and then what you would do just go ahead and come out, make your way over to the camera. You got 20 seconds. And then right back here, there's a little button that you press and release it. So, there we go. I'm just going to mount the finish mounting the monitor. And uh, I've got a nice backup camera. Looks like it's going to be a good one. Backup camera and also rear monitor. So you guys have a great time. Hope to see you on the next uh, video.